Hey, today I want to talk about how to create a football pass map. So the something like uh, you see in your screen at the moment uh, from the whoscore.com website. You see that there is this football page and all these blue dots are uh, passes which were made by, in this example, example by Bayern Munich. So how can we do this? or something like this. Uh, we already covered how to create a football page using Python in one of the previous videos. Now let's see how we can uh, visualize all our passes on this field. So let's switch to the Jupyter notebook I've prepared before. First of all, let's load all the important libraries we'll be using here. So let's run this. Now uh, we need to uh, load all the match events we want to use. And in this example, it will be a match uh, between France and Croatia in the final of uh, FIFA World Cup 2018. Let's do this. And let's see what kind of data we've got. So this is the data we've got from this final, from the stats bomb. Now let's uh, filter out, uh, for example, only the passes which were made by France. We can do this using this uh, expression. Let's do this and let's have a look what we got. So these are French passes. As you can see, these are passes and they all were made by French players. Now let's see how we can visualize all these passes uh, on the football field. Let's run this uh, code and later on I will explain how it works. Okay, so as you can see, this is quite similar to the one uh, to the football uh, visual, football passes visualization you can find at uh, whoscore.com. Mm, I like mine even more to tell the truth. No, no mind. Uh, let's see how it works. So this part of code uh, just uh, draw the football pitch uh, which we will be using for uh, visualizing our passes. If you want to know how it works, you can check uh, one of the previous videos where I, I was covering this uh, topic. Now, what we do, we are uh, visualizing passes uh, one by one from, the, uh, from these data, French passes. And uh, here, this string, uh, means that we want to visualize passes from both periods, first and second. If you want to include only first half or second half, you can just delete one of the parts and it will do uh, the math. Now, uh, what else do we have here? This if statements, if statement uh, filters uh, only the uh, unsuccessful passes, incomplete, uh, unknown, uh, out, and so forth. And uh, why do we need this? Because uh, if the pass was uh, unsuccessful, it will be uh, colored red. And on the other hand, if it wasn't unsuccessful, so it was successful, it will be blue. So. As you can see, the majority of passes is blue, are blue, which is essential, I think. Now, what else can we do? We can draw lines, uh, which will show uh, where the pass started and where it ended. We can do this by uncommenting these parts of codes. Of code. Let's run it. 
and now you can check uh, where the path started and when where it ended for example here it was out obviously <clears throat> now uh, if you want to change the size of these dots you can do this just changing the this s parameter and you can also change the color of the lines and dots and so forth now how this works how this line works first we need to take the starting point of x and uh, the end point of uh, x then we need to do the same for y starting point for i and end location and point for y and it will draw the line this line will uh, draw the scatter the dots for this um, for, for, for the scatter, you need only the X and Y location, the starting location, because uh, it's only a dot, right? And here's the title, of course. Uh, color white, size 20. Now, suppose we want to focus on um, and analyze on some particular player. For example, let it be the French Hullkeeper. Let's execute this code. And you see, these are all the passes Hugo Lloris uh, have made during the first period. If you want to, to, uh, to get all the passes during all the match for this player, you need, just need to delete this part of the code. Now, uh, how we can filter out a single player? Well, it's easy, as you see. We are just filtering player name by Hugo Loris. And that's basically it. Uh, what else can we do? For example, there are lots of lots of data uh, inside this data frame. And we can filter out uh, a single player. For example, let it be Antoine Griezmann. And we can do this using this part of the code. Let's run it. Now, suppose we want to uh, visualize and filter out uh, some kind of uh, passes, some, some particular passes. For example, let's have a look. Uh, we can get, uh, we'll, we can filter out and visualize, visualize passes only from free kick, for example, to see how effective they were, how effective that particular player, the Antoine Griezmann in this example, was. Uh, we can filter out when uh, he was located in the field, who was the, uh, who, which player got the ball after his pass, was, uh, what kind of height of this pass uh, was, for example, grand pass, high pass, and so forth. So you can uh, filter out a single player and then build then filter out uh, some parameters you want to check, you want to analyze and visualize only those passes which are relevant to your filters. So basically that's it uh, for today for, for this uh, little video. I hope you like this. Uh, click like, subscribe, post your comments below and uh, practice, practice, practice because practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching.